Okay, so setting off in the calligraphy. Full throttle. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a quick review on the all new 2023 Hyundai Palisade. With that being said, let's get right into it. Let's take a quick look at the exterior of the new Palisade, and I think they did a really good job with the styling for the new Palisade. They kind of went for that uh, more kind of flush look with a lot of the elements and it took a second for it to grow on me, but it's definitely grown on me now. I think overall with the design, and I love how like the lights match uh, the grill there at the top. I think it looks pretty cool from a front end perspective. And this is just to show you guys size comparison with the new GV60, uh, which is obviously a Genesis product. But just you can see how big that is compared to something like the Palisade that is obviously readily available out in the world for you to see how big it is. Anyways, you can see there with the body painted fender flares, and then I always thought that was interesting with the turn signal things on the mirrors, and you can see there with the trim on the side. Um, again, a lot of nice elements. It looks really uh, good from a stylistic perspective, again, especially considering the price point. I think that they've just done a, a great job with making it look premium on the exterior. Now, the rear end, they didn't really change anything compared to the previous body style, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, thought maybe they'd spruce the lights or something or do something different with the exhaust tips, but no, they're like, yeah, let's keep that all the same, which is fine. It looks good. Um, but the only way to really tell it's a new Palisade is if you look at the front rather than the rear. Now here's a window sticker for the 2023 Palisade calligraphy. Notice with the warranty information, a big thing, five year, 60,000 mile on the basic warranty. And then notice here for the powertrain, 10 year, 100,000 mile on that. And you can see the rest of the equipment and notice with the calligraphy package pretty much everything is standard except for carpeted floor mats which i've always thought is so funny fuel economy total msrp fifty two thousand three hundred and ten dollars and there you go ah whoever drove this before me is really short okay so let's talk about visibility before you set off here's your visibility of the hood you guys cannot see the heads up display both the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring and then throughout the rest of the rear and well, let's set off. Okay, so setting off in the calligraphy, full throttle. <laughs> in sport mode, this thing, this thing moves. This thing moves with that 3.8 liter V6. Now the calligraphy is not all about acceleration. It's about comfort. So we're gonna pop it in comfort mode. Notice how the gauge cluster changes with the different drive modes, that's definitely fun. Um, now, before we talk about some driving dynamic things, let's just kind of talk about some features since I didn't get like a normal walk around with this. So you guys can see here with the infotainment system, response time is great. Uh, and overall, I mean, it's easy to use, as you guys can see right there. Um, this has a 360 camera system with the calligraphy package. There's a bunch of analog buttons down here if you like physical buttons and then we've got dual zone climate controls here in the calligraphy heated cooled seats which i'm going to use the cooled seat right now because it's getting kind of toasty outside you got this nice premium headliner as well i love the new steering wheel uh, design it's definitely really good looking because it's got cool two spoke design all the finishes on the controls look fantastic notice we have steering assistance and adaptive cruise control you can see here at the paddle shifters uh, this has an eight speed automatic transmission that you can go through uh, and overall the design on this new interior hey calm down there design of this new interior is pretty dang nice that is for sure and yeah, overall visibility throughout is great this has the camera mirror as well they're up at the top okay so this is where it changes to 35 miles an hour i'm gonna press the brakes pretty hard just to show you guys braking performance as soon as we get here okay so pretty good pretty dang good with the braking performance for an suv in this segment i actually really like this road by the way i know some people might get annoyed because it goes like fast to slow like that but it, this is perfect like this route is perfect for testing out cars frankly because of the speed changes that you experience here um cabin is really quiet and, and ride quality just frankly is just smooth overall sorry about that jingling it's for my little name tag thing okay here's another speed zone yeah, I, I do like the braking performance on this. Um, now, just like other Hyundai models, it has the center locker. Uh, so this has an all-wheel drive system. The center locker then makes it so it's supposed to distribute power equally front to rear. But what I've noticed is even when you use that, it still will kind of have a little bit of a bias 
towards the front, basically, in terms of the power split. Uh, so definitely just understand that, take that into account, right? That it is gonna, this does kind of have um, more of that, like, let me show you guys here. I'll just show you with the power split. So, oh, of course I went to it and then I went away from it. So it shows us where the power is going. So I'm gonna, we have to slow down here anyways. Notice how more goes to the front right away. And so you, you kind of do feel that with the driving dynamics. Now this doesn't torque steer. That's the good thing to mention. Um, but it doesn't have that. You don't feel like you're, you don't feel like you're pushing out of corners or anything like that. You feel like you're more like clawing your way out of corners. You're pulling through. We'll see how the suspension is over all these little bumps and everything. Yeah, pretty compliant so far. Nobody ever comes up that little road, but always got to make sure. Now this is perfect for testing suspension. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah, really solid. And you guys are probably noticing also with the power splits, again, just look every single time. And here, I'll put the center locker on, which by the way, you can, so obviously if you have a car with a front or rear locker, you don't want to use that on road. But with center lockers, um, you do actually have that ability. Notice this also has the turn signal camera as well. And the reason you have that is it's not going to mess up the on-road driving dynamics. Cause if you like, let's say I put on a front locker, basically what that's gonna do then is make it so that I'm gonna, it's gonna make turning just horrible. So like <laughs> you might flip a vehicle with that. Cause every, the wheels are gonna be going at the same speed all the time, which you don't want when you're cornering and everything on road. It's great for off-road grip. Now see, look, still with the center locker, more power to the front. So I, I do find that interesting that that's how they've decided to kind of do the dynamics with it. And I'll go kind of full throttle there for a second. And again, just full throttle for a second and most of the power to the front. So I don't have any complaints about that. It's just that I, I find the center locker situation kind of interesting. I, I think that it's more, I think my guess is this center locker is more to tell the system that, hey, we're probably in a circumstance where we're gonna be slipping out more than normal. So just be aware of that. And so the system's gonna be kind of probably tweaking things more often. This is like complete front wheel drive. Look at that. Yeah, super interesting. I know I'm like paying attention to driveline still more than anything else here in this review. We'll get one last acceleration here. We'll do this in the comfort mode so that you guys can kind of just see the difference. Okay, we're gonna punch it. See, it does a pretty even split when you punch it. Those gear shifts are so quick with that eight speed automatic. Um, so exterior wise, I think the new Palisade looks fantastic on the outside. The interior looks fantastic as ever, especially the steering wheel area. Like these small tweaks they did to the Palisade with this refresh really help with just bringing up the interior feel of the Palisade. It's still just as practical as before. It still has like the massive center console. It still has the over-engineered funky cup holder things that are always fun to play with. And so, yeah, overall, I think that Hyundai did a really good job with this refresh. They've definitely just like taken a really good car and just elevated it. And that's the thing with the Palisade is it didn't really need that much to elevate it. One thing that I will say is I think that there is a buyer base for a twin turbo Palisade. Obviously we've got, you know, the Genesis line if people want a luxury, you know, higher performance SUV from, you know, the Hyundai group. But I think there's some people that would want something that's a third row SUV like this. It's a little bit less expensive than a GV80, right? And, you know, again, has similar performance, but let me know what you guys think.